These are the best ways to get early game XP in Minecraft, so let's get into it. The first method for getting XP is going to be strip mining. This is something that everybody does when they start up a new world, and that's because it's a great way to one, get resources, and two, get some XP. First off, you can get XP from mining diamonds. That was actually not planned. I didn't put these here. You can get XP from mining lapis and all of that fun stuff. But on top of that, you can also get XP from smelting down raw iron, raw gold, and raw copper. So all of that is going to give you XP. And if you're using a fortune pickaxe, that is going to greatly increase the number of XP you get from smelting down all of your ores. The next method for getting XP is going to be raising livestock. Now right here I have a cow pen. The awesome thing about raising livestock is that there are three ways to get XP from these guys. First off, we can go ahead and just breed up all of these cows. Now we have all of the breeding XP. Now, since we have these baby cows to replace them, obviously you would want your pen to be a little bit more full, but now we can go ahead and kill off some of these cows. We're going to get the XP for killing the cows, and then we can go ahead and smelt up all of this raw beef, which is going to give us more XP for cooking it into steak. So this is an awesome system for getting XP. You're going to breed, kill, smelt, and just continue that cycle. Again, obviously you would want more cows than I believe there are like 10 in here. You're going to want a bunch of cows or chickens or pigs or sheep or whatever, but raising livestock is a great way to get early game XP. One of the best early game XP farms is a very simple mob grinder. All you need is a mob spawner and then mine out an area and place down some water buckets. These things are so easy to build. The most expensive part of this farm is going to be the hopper. So this thing is definitely worth making. And if you don't have a mob spawner, don't worry, there are plenty to go around. You're going to find them all over your world. If you go back and you strip mine, I guarantee you, if you strip mine for long enough, you will definitely find a mob grinder. Now, if you don't plan on building this XP farm, then I highly recommend mining the mob spawner because that is going to give you a decent number of experience points. And if you've already gone into the nether and you're willing to build it, then a blaze spawner farm is going to be a much better option because blazes will actually drop double the amount of XP as a skeleton spawner or a zombie spawner. So again, if you're in the nether, building a blaze farm is definitely worth it. One of the best ways of getting XP early game and late game is going to be trading with villagers. Now this is totally doable early game, maybe slightly later because you're going to have to find a village and all that fun stuff, but you can very easily find a village and trade with the villagers there. This is a great way to get XP. All you're going to do is go in here and you're going to trade, max out the trades, and on top of that, if you're trading with a farmer, this is another really great way of getting food. As you can see, we got over a stack of bread that will have you fed for a very, very long time. And as you can see, we jumped up three levels there. Let's go ahead and do the same thing with the librarian here. Go ahead and trade that. Now, obviously, these trades are not the best, right? I just got seven bookshelves. Obviously, I would want to have a paper farm or something to trade for emeralds here. But uh, this is very, very, very good way of getting XP. Now, clerics are an even better way of getting XP because once they are at master level right here, you can trade three emeralds for a bottle of enchanting. Now, this is more in the late game era, but you could totally just spend your time maxing out a single cleric and then getting a ton of bottles of enchanting by just getting things that will give you gold. A good example would be Rotten Flesh. Pairing this with a mob grinder would be a great way of getting Rotten Flesh for emeralds. And if you want to go a step farther, again, leaning more towards late game, having a one emerald trading system would be an even better way because then you basically have an emerald farm as a mob grinder. If you're strip mining and you come across a skulk cavern or an ancient city, this is going to be the XP hotspot especially in the early game because this is all just free XP. Now I'm using a hoe to mine this. Obviously if you're early game you're going to be having like iron hoes. You're definitely not going to have a netherite hoe so I would not recommend wasting your iron on making a hoe because this is just going to kill the durability on it unless of course you have a netherite one with mending but if that were the case you wouldn't be watching a video called the easiest early game XP sources. So you're going to mine this with your hand. It's going to take a little bit longer, but it is still a great source of XP, especially if you're trying to get to level 30 for your very first enchantments. This is possibly one of the best things that you could come across in the early game if you're looking for XP. Look how much XP I'm getting. 
just from this little area and of course this goes all throughout this cavern so that is probably hundreds and hundreds of levels worth of XP. And the last early game way of getting XP is going to be fishing. So we're going to end this off on a very chill note of just fishing for some XP. Now, this is a great way of getting XP, especially if you make an AFK fish farm. So if you're on a computer or something that has an auto clicker, then building an AFK fish farm is like a cheat code to getting XP. Because not only do you get all the treasure, but you're going to get thousands of levels just by leaving your game running and it's absolutely awesome. Now another benefit of fishing is going to be the fact that you are going to be able to smelt all of the fish that you catch, which is going to give you even more XP. So this again is a double whammy, you're getting the XP for fishing and you're getting the XP for smelting the fish. So again, fishing is a great way, especially if you have an AFK fish farm. All right, those are the best ways to get XP in the early game of Minecraft. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then be sure to subscribe and leave a like. My name is 1UpMC, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.